Here we are playing the Radkampfwagen 90, but it's white. This thing is a massive shitboat of a truck, but it actually feels very similarly to the Radkampfwagen. And I'm not sure why that is. It feels actually just as nimble, basically just as fast. The gun is of course the same, and for some reason you can't hull break the turret, even though it barely has any armor. It's actually pretty survivable because half the tank is basically a void, and the back of the tank is so filled with stuff the engine takes up all the damage. So that's pretty neat. You can just park your ass in front of someone. Problem is, of course, you have that elevated engine deck, just like in the Abrams, which makes it so that you can't aim down. And because this thing is so goddamn tall, sometimes someone is just going to drive up to your ass, and he's just going to sit there, and you won't be able to load your gun enough. And today I'm going to be plugging a tank channel. He's called Cavenup. He's one of the better tankers that I know. He helps me with a lot of this uh, this stuff. He backseats me pretty hard. Tells me where to go, what to do. His gameplay is a little bit more unorthodox, but he's extremely good. And I really recommend you to check him out if you're careful in tank gameplay. Right here, I push past the point, and now my team, that's no one near as fast as me, can slowly creep up to the cap and capture it for me. This way, I can secure some ground, secure some front line. As the team slowly pushes up, they can get the cap. Most of them want the cap anyway because of the event, and this allows them to do that. Simply looking for tanks, just shoot a little bit too high, shoot over that tank, keep going straight. Uh, I keep uh, peeking out left and right here, so if, if someone is pre-aiming me and I push out on the other side, I might catch him off guard and that way I can shoot him in the side. Three guys here, BMP isn't much of a trap, this guy was most in front, I tracked him, he's tracked now, he won't be able to get into cover and by shooting the guy on the right side, the Magach, I don't have to expose myself to the dude on the left. Making it so that I can get a free shot on the Magag. The other guy is tracked right now. And I can shoot him again without exposing myself to the guy I tracked on the left. But I do want to take him out in case he gets into the city. Because I don't want that. I want the city to be secure. Because thanks driving around in the open field are a much easier shot than guys that are completely engulfed by cover. Problem is he's kind of far to the left side. And if I push out to kill him right now I'm probably going to get shot by someone else. So I don't want to risk that and I need to secure my own position before I can start securing other people's position. Just like here I need to worry about the chieftain that's pushing up right here. I'm not going to push into him because he would have a very easy time to push up into me here. I'm a big tank. I have a very big weak pot which is my entire tank. I was waiting for him to peek, do something and then the G91R3 come to the rescue which is the bane of everyone's existence. But this time it saved my ass. Another tank pushing up. The M103 jumped out. Not too sure why. But he did, gave me the kill, not a problem, and I killed the chieftain right next to him as well. Low front plate, blow the ammo up, and that's not the kill. Pushing out on the same side again, T and AA, try to save the, G the G91. Guy gets killed as my shell is in the air. Kind of unfortunate that he went head on with him, because he wasted one a rocket, as well as his life. And that's a falcon. Quite sure I am at least. Green tracers, two guns. And it's definitely British. Guy over there, just pushing out. At this point it's basically just a turkey shoot. He's not going to be pushing out. Reverse in back into cover as he shoots. Gets his position with a third person shot. And zoom in and shoot him right in the turret. And that's 7 kills. Securing a good position here. The entire team of ours is on the cap. So I feel relatively safe here. IL-28 flying over, was kind of scared he was going to bomb me, but luckily he didn't. We'll be able to get a shot here, I see a helicopter in the, on the right as well. Zooming in, MI4, relatively stable. Look at the range, aim a little bit high, shoot on the right, and just too short. Didn't aim enough, pop some smoke to dodge the ATGM, back up into cover in case he tries to shoot through it. Making sure that I don't get hit by an ATGM. Because ATGMs, if they, they hit your, your hull, you instantly blow up. Hull break does work with heat as well as ATGMs, of course. Because they're basically heat charge on the, the hull. The turret does not hull break the thing. But the hull definitely does. Staying in cover here to dissuade uh, the MI4 to look somewhere else. He's like, he's not going to pick, so I'm not going to look at him. Now I see some guys on the other side of the map. I'm gonna push out very quick and then reverse into cover as soon as I can. There's also a plane going for him in the background. So I feel like I'm relatively safe here. Kill the ZSU 23. 
and the plane takes down the MI4 just as planned. And now we are in a pretty good position again. But still some guys on the cap. We have a very good line of fire here on the entirety of the map that tries to enter the city. That's exactly what we will be doing for the rest of the game. Yes, we're not really using the mobility of the, the tank right now. The Type 3... Don't, don't ask me how I missed that. I shot way too low. I shot way too high actually. Overlet it. Not use the tanks. And I just shoot too much to the left. Very close shots, but close doesn't give you anything, does it? It only gives you less ammo. Get an assist for the out 28 but of course uh, we hit him with 150 kill and that's uh, how assists work. But if you blow his whole tail off and he crashes, you don't get the kill for it. Pretty fantastic. Just looking for new targets here. And slowly but surely, our team is entirely dying. And they somehow managed to lose the cap. They're now capping, so I have to go back. I have to make sure that we, we keep the cap. Because if we don't, we will lose this game. We don't have many people in our team anymore. Our team is very dead. And no one's on the cap. So I need to go back here, secure this capture point. Make sure they don't get any spawn points from capturing. Because of course, capping a point will give you a lot of points. And I don't want that to happen. He's the tank, he's MGing me. Not sure why he didn't pen me. Probably because I'm more angled. Didn't expect him to be there. I was expecting him to be somewhere else, so I wasn't really looking. I was looking for the, the flank on the right in the road there. He wasn't there, so I looked the other way as the other guy was right in my face. I hear a tank right now. He's on the other side of this building. Not too sure where exactly that he is. Looking behind me in case he pops out there, but he didn't. So now we're going to push up again. Look around the corner with some 3D spotting or 3D camera work. Just to find out that there's a guy right there. Shoot him in the back. Pen the whole turret, blow everything up. And at this point I think the cap is clear, so I'm gonna move towards it. And there's a guy right there. I could have very easily died there, but I didn't. The, the biggest problem with this is that I am half a meter away from the capture point, so I'm not inside of it. And I'm going to be sitting here for a very long time. Because, well, I need to repair. I'm getting strafed by a Seahawk. I pop a smoke everywhere so to make it the hardest shot for him with the rockets. But he's going to keep damaging me. And just as I'm done repairing, he hits me again and breaks another set of my wheels. And I have to repair again. And in this meantime, I am not capping. I need new ammo. I need to repair. I forgot to buy the crew replenishment skill. So I'm just sitting here now. I'm losing a lot of time here. At this very moment, everyone from their spawn is pushing up to the city. And here it comes again. Another set of repairs. He keeps breaking my wheels. If this guy had pulled me into the, into the cap circle. This would have gone very differently. But I can't blame him for that. I should have asked him in the chat. But here I am. Preparing again. I'm losing a full minute here. If not more. And I still have to get more ammo as well. Just going to skip out. Uh, it's a lot of repairing and reloading. So I'm just going to skip to the point where I start pushing up again. And because I'm not used to being on the cap for so long. The timing in my head was completely screwed up. I'm looking for a tank here, find the BMP, kill him, maybe with a kill steal, I don't know, but I'm here to win this game right now and I don't feel like losing anymore, not after such a successful run. Looking around, don't see anyone, and I just drive right into this dude, just too late, just, just too late, gun handling isn't good enough to do that, I quit the recording here on accident, so I uh, didn't record the kill. But the leopard next to me died as well and we actually lost that game which is extremely unfortunate but you know it is what it is we did what we could and that's the end of the story and the rest of the video will just be gameplay without commentary i need to start celebrating uh, the last day of the year as well just like you guys should so feel free to watch it make sure to check out cave Nut, and i will see you all in the next year hope it's going to be better than this one but that's not a very high bar is it